So this is the most random thing I've seen on this trip so far. I'm gonna read this to you. At this spot, on April 24th, 2015, the Michigan State Police rescued two sisters from Oklahoma and Nebraska who had their SUV stuck in the snow for 13 days. The sisters survived on Girl Scout cookies, Cheetos, and other snack foods they had with them. guys let's just hope that doesn't happen to us because i don't have any cheetos or girl scout cookies unfortunately
This road just keeps finding new ways to disperse the potholes. And <laughs> tell you the truth, I'm actually amazed I made it this far in this car. So for those that don't know, this is a 2005 Scion XB, which is basically a Toyota. And it's got almost 300,000 miles on it. And it's so rusty that the rocker panels are just gone completely. And uh, somehow it just keeps running and running. I'm so impressed with these cars. I've always loved Toyotas, but I'll tell you, I want to buy like three of these and just stick them away on my property and start them once in a while and just have a car until they turn the gas off on us because you can't kill these things. They're amazing. Okay guys, we're going to cut into Little Lake Harbor here. Uh, this is one of my favorite places in the UP, though I have a lot of favorite places in the UP. <laughs> this is really remote. Um, as far The last I heard, you know, a couple years ago, there isn't even power out here. If you have a place out here, you have to be on solar or something. I would love to live out here, or at least have a place out here. Um, it's one of the few places for a, a small craft, or I suppose even a, a ship in distress, to try to escape a storm off of Lake Superior between Munis, uh, no, I'm sorry, Grand Marais, Michigan, and Whitefish Point. Uh, and so it, it not, there was never any development out here. This is Luce County. And so it's just, it's like going back in time in a way. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's very remote, very rural, and very beautiful. And I'm going to show you right now. 